Hi, my name is Derek Nakata. I'm a student at University of San Francisco. I'm a junior, and last semester I took Professor Hudson's family business course where we researched the different corridors of San Francisco, doing research on family businesses and more. So my business and my street was the Fillmore, and what I had discovered was Miyako, which is a black-owned, one of the last ice cream parlors on that block, uh, run by Tom Bennett. It's been around for around 28 years. It's an amazing spot. Tom is a super cool guy. Um, obviously, being in an ice cream shop during COVID is a little bit tough, um, especially towards the beginning, but he's been able to do, he's been able to survive. And so I really did not know much about the Fillmore Corridor, uh, much less Miyako, and learning a lot about my roots. I mean, I'm personally, I'm Japanese, so understanding that the Fillmore had a lot of Japanese people before um, the internment and it was African American primarily before the urban renewal um, slash gentrification. Um, and being able to learn that history was really important for me and especially understanding how Tom has been able to stay open throughout the last 28 years and thrive has been, has been really great as well. You know, he adds that, that personal touch that a family business can do that maybe a chain cannot. Um, just like that one-to-one -one interaction that's really personal, you know, because he's really close to the business, he's really experienced. Understanding the roots of the Fillmore District and how it's shaped the community, especially something as far as Miyako, like the name that Tom decided was really just focused on Japanese people during a time when it was primarily African American. So having that story and having the understanding of how the community has shaped and how Tom has been there for 20 years and it's almost shaped around him, you know, that's just something that's like really important and I I personally thought that that was really powerful, just understanding and the concept of doing your own research to figure out more about the family businesses that you see every day that you normally don't question. Like I said, even something as little as buying an ice cream cone or just stopping by and saying hello can make a really big difference. So truthfully, one of the most important things that you can do is just to be curious. Just think about your impact and what you can do to help a family business. And really, it does not take much. It really does not. You know, I thought maybe, oh, you have to donate, different stuff like that. It's really not like that. For example, at Miyako, just buy some ice cream, buy some candy. When you stop by, just grab something. You know, even something as simple as resharing. You don't even have to be there in person. Just reshare, you know, spread awareness. Different stuff like that can make a huge difference. So I definitely would like to push and encourage anybody watching this to please do that whenever you can. Do your research, learn more about the business maybe make a connection with the owner, the employees, it makes a really big difference. And I think that's something that goes unnoticed a lot, but it does. So just keep that in mind.